Hello everybody, it's Mike here at from Scratch, and today we have another one of those free cool game development tools. And you know I absolutely love this kind of stuff, and I hope you do too. And today we are looking at, and I'm really sick of these made up names, uh, Lighter? Later? It's either Later or Lighter. I'm not, how, I'm not really sure how you pronounce L-A-I-G-T-R. I'll call it Lighter for the rest of this video. It might be Later. Uh, either way, it is a sprite lighting tool. So I'm going to go with Lighter because of that. It is a very cool uh, tool. It's available on itch.io. It was made by... Oh, this one hurts too. A-Z-A-G-A-Y-A -A -A or Azagaya. Maybe Azagaya. We'll go with that. Lighter by Azagaya. Uh, this is available up on itch.io. As I mentioned earlier on, it is completely free. It is entirely donation based. So you can donate on itch.io for the download or they have a patron supporting them. And it is also open source. So this tool lets you generate normal maps for 2D textures with little effort, specifically designed for sprites and 2D games. Specular map generation is possible too, which gives your sprites the shininess they need to look pro. It also lets you create parallax maps, mainly intended for backgrounds to obtain a nice 3D effect of games. Normal maps let you create awesome realistic lights for games. This tool is primarily intended for illuminating 2D sprites for 2D games, although you can use for 2D textures for 3D games. Specular maps let you make realistic shine into your sprites, and parallax maps let you deform the texture depending on the point of view, so you can, for example, uh, create depth effects in backgrounds like brick walls. Ambient occlusion lets you define to which parts ambient light should reach weaker. Yeah, that was a little strange sentence. Adds realism to light. It's available in both Spanish and English. And as I mentioned earlier on, it is free and it is open source as well. So here we are now. I did not mean to click that link. Instead, I meant to click this one. We are now on the GitHub page for the source code. As you can see, a couple of things. First off, the source code uses um, uh, Qt. Uh, it's C++ based. And um, yeah, now you'll notice a lot of the commenting is in Spanish. So you might have a little bit of trouble contributing towards this if you can't read or speak Spanish. Uh, but you will also notice it is under the GPL3 license. That one basically means that if you do anything with the source code, you must therefore also release your source code. It's very good for uh, tools, not so good for game libraries, but different story. So anyways, that is lighter. Uh, definitely an interesting project. And now we're going to go hands on and demonstrate it. Here we go. This is lighter in action. Uh, you see here you've got your sprite and then you can basically modify it. It's a very simple tool to work with for the most part. Let's go in, we'll bring in a different sprite. So I have a, a Gundam-esque sprite I downloaded. There we go. So here you go. We got a sprite that we can work with. I ignore the shear around the outside. I did a good job of getting rid of the background as you can see. And what you're going to probably want to do immediately is come over here to the visualization section and switch mode. So this is switching between the different things that are affecting it. So you got Normal map, the specular map, the texture map, the parallax map, and the occlusion map. But what you probably want is all of them combined. So here we are now in the preview mode. So this is all five of the maps working together. Now here you see you've got a light source in the scene, so we can make a diffuse light. It's slightly green right here, and we can move it around, and you see the influence on your sprite. Now keep in mind, this is not a model. This is a 2D sprite being influenced by the lighting. So if we wanted to make this lighting, say, like a softer white, we can do so. I don't think this is on the fly. No, it's not. So there. So now you got a whitish light working on it. And there you can see the effect of your light. And obviously you can change out that light. Uh, you can change the intensity or the amount that that light is affecting. Uh, you can change the height of the light like so. And as you saw, we can change the color. We can also change for specular lighting. So we've got a green specular. Let's change that to a red to make this a little bit more pronounced. And we could, if we drop down the scattering, it becomes really pronounced the effect of it. So we could jack up the intensity. And there you see your specular influence. We can get rid of that completely. And again, we've got an ambient light. This is just light in the world. Uh, so we can change the intensity of ambient light in our scene and have it basically go completely decked, completely lit. You can change out the color and the background color on that. So that is your various different texture channels. Again, as we were modifying things, they are moving this way as well. So we could go here and we can change the values and it will actually update if it actually does make a change. So let's see if we can get that one going. Hmm, maybe it doesn't. Anyways, we'll go back over here. We can also go to more of a pixelated look, if we so wish, if you want to maintain that pixelated look. And then when you are ready to go, you can export out all of your generated maps. So we've already got, there is our color map right there, our source texture, but we can generate a normal specular occlusion and parallax map. Just click export, or if you want to pick the folder, export to. And that's kind of it. Now over here, you're going to see we have a lot more control over it. So the normal map that we're working with, uh, we can control over the strength of the normal map. Uh, the smoothness of the normal map. And again, you're getting real-time previews of the effects in action. Ditto for a bump mapping. You can change the amount that the bump map have generated, the distance, and the smoothness. 
And then we've also got, we can smooth between abrupt and smooth. And that's just for the normal map. So we've got controls over the specular map, uh, the parallax map, which in this case, again, that would be used more for creating like those wall textures, those the uh, illusion of depth kind of things. And then we've got control over the occlusion maps as well. And as you can see, you're seeing the results in real time. And essentially that is the tool. Uh, that is kind of the extent of it. Uh, we've got export options up here as well. Uh, we've got some presets here, uh, you can change it out that way. But realistically, that is it. That is lighter in a nutshell. It's a very straightforward tool, but you, as you can see, results are actually pretty, pretty pronounced. Uh, it allows you, you could take in uh, a very simple sprite and add a lot of detail or depth to it by faking this lighting and normal and ambient occlusion kind of map information. Or if you are working in a, in a game engine that supports multiple maps on a 2D sprite, you can take your exported sprites and have this level of detail being kicked out in the end. That's uh, definitely a cool little tool. Again, it is completely free, which is awesome. And the source code is available on GitHub under the LGB, um, sorry, the GPL3 license. Uh, so if you want to look behind the scenes, especially if you could speak some Spanish, that code is available. So if you want to grab it, uh, head on over to exegia.itch.io forward slash lighter. I will, of course, make these links available so you can check it out yourself. Um, yeah, great work. Uh, very cool. It's actually updated quite often too. So you can see just nine days ago is when it was open sourced. Uh, six days ago, there was a new version. Before that, 23 days ago. Before that, 37 days ago. So it is being updated and released pretty frequently. Uh, and the, the tools and functionality in this guy, it's really quite good. I've seen some actual commercial normal mapping 2D software out there that is quite a bit inferior to this and quite a bit more expensive. So this is definitely, if you're working with 2D sprites and you want to add a little bit more depth or detail or color or lighting to it, uh, this is definitely a project to check out. So that's later or lighter, not really sure. Give me your opinion on how the heck you say L-A-I-G-T-E-R. I'm guessing because it's sprite lighting that is lighter, uh, but I have no idea. So if you do know, let me know that in the comments down below. Otherwise, let me know what you thought of this. Does it look like a cool tool? Is it something you can get behind? At the very least, there is zero cost involved. It is quite small. It is available. I should have, suppose I should have mentioned this earlier on. It is available for Linux and Windows in installer and non-installer form. I got to imagine if you've got an app image for Linux and you've got a Windows version, getting a Mac version is no big deal either if you so wish to port it. So a uh, really cool project. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And if you're already using, you know, a normal lighting kind of generation solution for 2D, what is it if it's not lighter? And if you are paying for it, do you kind of wish you didn't now that you see this option is out there? All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.